We begin tonight with in-depth team coverage of campaign 2012. Congressman David Cicilline and one of his Democratic challengers, Anthony Gemma, faced off tonight in their first congressional debate at Rhode Island College. Eyewitness News teamed up with the Providence Journal for the debate, which you saw live on our live right here on WPRI 12 and on WPRI.com. Tonight's face-off came after Gemma made stunning accusations of voter fraud against Cicilline's camp. We have live team coverage from Rhode Island College tonight. Target 12 investigator Tim White is standing by with analysis of the debate. First, let's go to Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau with more on what the candidates had to say. No doubt it was an easy guess which question would spark the most volatility, but in the end, surrounding all the fireworks, they did debate the issues. You should be ashamed now, listen, of yourself. Let me, About think, four minutes in, the challenger took his first shot. He told us that he was leaving Providence in excellent financial condition, and that he paid down deficits. He lied. He would accuse his opponent of lying a half dozen times, and as expected, the sharpest back and forth, you should be ashamed now, listen, followed me, voter fraud questions. People were given $50 per polling place to vote. The notion that this sort of allegation which he made has any basis is absurd. My Republican nominee acknowledged that. Elected. You should be ashamed now, listen, of yourself. So you're not paying any of your campaign staff cash right now? Anthony, what a ridiculous question. Okay. You should be ashamed of yourself. Right, I wanna, I'm, Stop I'm trying to drag this campaign into the gutter. He still continues to lie. Can that, that win the election for you, that one issue, if you pound that hard enough? Listen, I believe that the voters, uh, to hear the word lie, is a, it's hard for someone to hear the word lie, but it is the truth. Obviously, when someone accuses you of something you didn't do, you get agitated. That's, that's natural. But the, the, the real frustration is this is an important election with important issues. There's a lot at stake for Rhode Island families. They agreed on many other issues. Both pro-choice. Both say stop Iran from developing nuclear weapons. And neither one would raise the age for Medicare. But the challenge in Medicare is the cost of delivery of health care, not excluding people from Medicare. We need to create jobs and grow the economy. That's really where we need to be. If we grow the economy, we wouldn't be working on cuts. Both candidates told the audience they want to cut the deficit, but neither one would offer specifics. I'm not trying to grab it. I will work every single day, as I have for the last two years I've been in Congress. I'm going to work every day as hard as I can. 17% uh, of the people are undecided. Those undecideds are going to go my way. The majority of them will go my way, and we're going to win this race. Two very confident candidates tonight with 12 points separating the two with two weeks to go before the primary. Live with the Providence Mobile Newsroom in Providence, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News.